All right, everybody, hands are up, hands are up, <laughs> hands are up, hands are up. Welcome to Camp Onus Variety Show Fundraiser, June 25th, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to get my drum off. All right, tonight's EA is... to do this for our literal like favorite place on planet earth um Catherine and I met in PlayWiki um a while ago <laughs> um we kind of grew as as uh, count as uh, campers and then staff members together and we love camp so much and wanted to support in any way that we could um since they won't be holding sessions this summer due to COVID-19 um so we wanted to support them in any way that we could and we figured what's the what, what's another way to to support camp than to do a, a camp talent show so so yeah yeah cool. um thanks to everyone that's here and donated and everyone that's performing um so i think we're gonna have holly and matt pop in and say something um Oh, hello everybody hi uh we started we wanted to start off just by saying thank you uh to liz and Catherine and all of the alumni who are sharing their talents tonight um and also to everyone who has financially contributed to this fundraiser um and to camp in other ways during um what is really an unprecedented time for camp um we are very very sad not to be holding the summer this year, but our hearts are very filled with the support of our community. It's been such a, a surreal experience to be here. I think like many of us, you might have been here in the off season and seen it without everyone here for a day or, or a couple hours, but it being not happening during the summer is, is quite a strange experience. Um, and it's been interesting. I will say that what's been more interesting is how our community, like, it's always been there, but has reached out in many ways. So, like, Liz and Catherine and, and others set this thing up, and th that's great. We also have had, like, eight and nine-year-olds doing friendship bracelets, and I, we had, a like, a 55-year-old um, who said he was here for two summers, like, as a, as a like, I think he said a 10-year-old, and he just wanted to see how we were doing. Um, so I, it, it, we all know that this community exists. It's just that this experience has really highlighted that. And it's been, um, and this itself is, is just a great example of just how we, how, how this, all the different parts of this and, and what we do here, so. So like all of you, we are grateful for Camp Onus. We're grateful for all of you. Um, and we have a lot of love in our hearts for each of you and we miss you. And if you're able, please consider donating. Thank you. Thank you, Matt and Holly. Um, all right. So we are going to get started with Alexander Indig, who is a uh, singer-songwriter. Um, and he is going to perform something that he wrote um, about camp. And yeah, we're excited for you, Al. You're up. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Catherine, Holly, and Matt. Really a pleasure to get to be a part of this. Um, I think I speak for everyone on this call and probably everyone that's ever set foot on camp and thinking that camp is really an extra special place uh, for all of us. And something that, um, that I always felt when I went there was an incredible sense of freedom for a 10 or 12 year old to get to spend his time doing whatever he wanted to do and with incredible people um, and really to be whoever uh, you wanted to be uh, was, it, was an amazing gift for us. And I think um, everyone would agree with me that this is something that we should all be supporting. So 
really a pleasure to get to be here. This song is exactly about that. It's about that sense of freedom of being at camp. <laughs> for my family I grab a little yarn and make a gift for a friend I'll give it to him at the tragic sessions end crafts are so much fun I want to do them all day but sports just call my name in the strangest way now the bell rings signifying period two and I'm ready for some hoops Baby, through and through, I want some C S N, and I want it tonight. I want some C S N before I lose my mind. There's an emergency in the kitchen, and it requires my full attention. It really <laughs> took me back to Onus. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Sue. It's a pleasure to hear from you. Loved it. Loved it. So, hey, Camp Onus, I just see your names and um, a, few, a few faces, but I know we're all together in spirit. So I just feel that spirit. I feel that great Camp Onus spirit. And I want to do a big, big shout out to the past and the current staff who wrote that great open letter to the onus community we all that are on this zoom we all stand with you in our fight together against racism and prejudice and camp onus has always stood for that since 1922 what an amazing legacy camp onus has given us all and also to the present staff who is not going to get to be at onus this summer we feel your pain. Each of us knows what that would be like if we were living through that. 
and we're here for you, even if it's just in spirit, to wrap our arms around you in spirit. So please join me, everyone, for three big ones, for the current staff and for Camp Onus. We'll do it loud and wherever we are. We won't hear each other, but let's do it together. Are you ready? Hip, hip, hooray! hooray. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray. Thank you so much, Sue. It was so nice to hear your voice. Um, all right, so thank you, Al, also. That was awesome, brought me right back. Um, next up, we have um, Scott Langon, who's also, I'm sorry, Lachlan, <laughs> who is um, also gonna perform for us um, a bit of a, a drum situation, so get ready for that. And uh, all right, Scott, you're up. Hi everyone, wonderful to see you all. Um, I'm really grateful to be a part of this special evening. Um, camp means a lot to me, so anything I can do to help camp, I'm always down. Um, so I'm gonna perform a little, um, a lot of you who know me know I played drums. Um, I'm sure everyone on the girls' side remembers me playing during free time and probably woke up a few naps, I apologize, playing in the Texas room, but um, uh, I'm going to play a Carlos Santana song called Oye Como Va. Um, it's uh, a track without drums, so I can play along with it. And I don't really have a full drum set because I'm in my Brooklyn apartment, but uh, I'll do what I can with a little makeshift kit I have. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thanks, Scott. Um, okay. Am I up? I think. I don't know. <laughs> Um, okay, so the next person that we have is Noah. Noah was at camp from 94 to 2006. He was a counselor when I was a camper. Um, and he is also a singer-songwriter. So Liz is going to play a video that he recorded. Oh wait, Liz, I think it's muted. My bad. <laughs> We're gonna restart, <laughs> start fresh. All right, Noah, let's do it. Ready, go. Hi everybody, Noah here. I just want to uh, thank all of you guys for watching and donating and Liz and Catherine for putting this on. Uh, Camp Onus is my favorite place in the whole wide world. So it's an honor uh, for me to be here with you guys. Um, this is a song that I wrote for my nephew, Levon, and you'll be hearing from his dad, Josh, a little later in the broadcast. It's called, Every Day is a New Chance to Do the Right Thing. There will be days when you are careless feelings of others when you'll forget to look out for all of your sisters brothers there will be times when you just can't sing to get out of your own Try to hide what's going on inside Which feelings will betray you So every day Every day Is a new chance To do the right
there's a new chance to do the right thing. So our next performers are Katie and Josh, and they're doing experimental poetry, as they described it. Um, and Katie was at camp from 2009 to 2018, and Josh was there from 2008 to 2019. So hello. We've got some poetry for you guys today. Yes, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Summer's hot, because we got the spicy. Check and scout to know where the life is. Shop and BJ's wholesale prices. Party like the last night with sweets and slices. Cicadas in the trees go chirp, chirp. Oh, CITs heading off to work. For sessions, we're having cheese for dessert. Icebreakers. Thirty on a perch. Watch out, dangerous and rusty. Books and Texas, kind of dusty. Slap down, now the bumps are rusty. Go to the bunchers, who wake up with a rust seat. Friendship bracelets. Shoes with laces. At summer camp, you don't need to know what day it is. Onus travel. No matter the weather, each year it gets better and better. The pool is a shower. Don't need to get wetter. I don't miss my mom. I won't get wetter. Twenty-three years ago today, a very special former staff member was born, and uh, we just like to say how much we love him and how much we love Jack. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Um, happy birthday, Josh. I hope you have a great day or great rest of your day, rather, because it's 8.30. So hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, and next up, we have Toby Bukchescu, whose name I pronounced in my head over and over again for the past like 24 hours to make sure I got it right. So here he goes. He's going to be playing some guitar and singing a bit. You nailed the name, Liz, and thank you, Liz thank Catherine, and you. everybody for being here. And I have to echo Sue's sentiment, uh, thanking those who wrote that letter. That was wonderful. And um, also, so many of you, thanks for, I've learned a lot from your social media posts over the past few months. Um, it's been a time of learning. So this is a song called uh, Gravity of the Unknown, and it's about fear and anxiety of what's coming next, the unknown which I think people can relate to these days.
Thank you, Toby Bukchescu. I'm just going to keep saying it, you know, just so it really rolls up the tongue now. Um, all right, next up, we have um, this is Sean Gould, who is going to be also singing um, and playing a bit of an original song. So, Sean, you're up. Hi, Liz. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can't see you, though. Okay, I'll put on my video. Okay, start my video. There he is. All right. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My favorite part of uh, talent shows was uh, the incredibly earnest performers. Like, um, there was uh, a girl who sang Moonshadow, and I really, really loved it. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna play you a very very earnest song. This is a song I wrote for my wife. Um, we got married in October, and this is the first time I've I've played it. And uh, yeah, I, I um, pretty nervous, <laughs> but here we go. <clears throat> Of my family laughing You're filling up the room Till I'd breathe it in And started to begin Chuckling, chiming in In the life In the life we've made Oh, 
That was so good. Oh my gosh. Um, Sean was my table counselor when I was nine years old. You probably don't remember me, but. <laughs> I do. Of course I do. Of course but, I do. Yeah. Thank you so, thank you much, so much. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So our next performer is our good friend, Sabrina Breyer. And she um, has a little comedy situation for everybody. A little about myself. Okay, I graduated top of my class, New Englander, born and bred, and I'm a proud alum of the overnight camp, Wapa Wapa Nook and Nixon up in the Poconos. My biggest weakness is overly enthusiastic, and I stayed at my first job for nine years, so overly dedicated. Strengths, I'm very organized, responsible, great with research, expert friendship bracelet maker. A difficult work situation I once overcame. Yeah, I once had a homesick camper, first timer, who would wake up in the middle of the night shrieking, and I figured out that if I sang her James Taylor songs during bedtime, she would wake up shrieking less. Do I work well with others? Well, let's just say my former co-sailing director is now my fiance. Do I have the ability to maintain grace under pressure? Well, I once had to use an EpiPen on a seven-year-old who was in anaphylactic shock after licking a peanut, so yeah. Do I consider myself an adventurous teammate? Well, I once led a group of 11-year-olds through a two-day hiking, two-day canoeing pioneer with nothing to eat but packets of gorp and no major injuries acquired, so yeah. How do I like to boost team morale? Flee, fly, flee, fly, fly, flow. What do you do in a little canoe? Peel, peel, banana, peel, banana, peel, peel, but damn. This traffic jam, how I hate to be late. Hurts my motor go so slow. By temp. By the time I get home, a team bonding activity I'd love to bring to the company. Color wars. Favorite snack to have in the break room? Pretzels and bug juice. The darkest moment of my life? Leaving camp. Oh, sorry, was that not a question? Oh my god, I love that. Okay, um, <laughs> thank you, Sabrina. That was also, I don't know if we set it up, but that was camp counselor interviewing for a job. Um, yeah, okay, so our next performer is Jamie, and she is going to be singing for us. Can you see? Hi, Camp Bonus. Um, my name is Jamie and I'm singing Colors of the Wind tonight and I picked this song because I really like the message of the lyrics. It talks about, <laughs> it talks about protecting the earth and protecting the people around you and I think the message is really timely right now because it talks about adopting a different perspective on life and expanding your worldview. So I encourage everyone, even if you're really familiar with the song, to just really listen to the lyrics. All right, here we go. Think you own whatever land you land on. The earth is just a dead thing you can claim. But I know every rock and tree and each creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. Think the only people who are people are the people who look and think like you. But if you walk the footsteps of a stranger, you'll learn things you never knew, you never knew. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Or ask the grinning bobcat why he grinned. Can you sing with all the voices of the mountain? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Come from the hidden pine trees of the forest. Taste the sun sweet berries of the earth. Come roll in all the riches all around you. And for once, never wonder what they're worth. The rainstorm and the river are my brothers. The heron and the otter are my 
my friends and we are all connected to each other in a circle in a hoop that never ends how high does the sycamore grow if you cut it down and you'll never know and you'll never hear the wolf cry to the blue corn moon for whether we are white or copper skinned you need to sing with all the voices of the mountain you need to paint with all the colors of the wind you can own the earth and still all your own is earth until you can paint with all the colors of the wind. Thank you, Camp Bonus. Jamie! Oh, that was amazing. I remember when you were a camper singing and oh my goodness, you just come so far. Uh, with your beautiful voice. Oh, oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Oh. <laughs> um, so next up we have uh, Rob Schiffman, who's also a singer-songwriter, um, and he's going to be uh, performing a, a, an original song for us. So you're up, Rob. Yay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is so great. Own it's forever. Um, let's see. Well, I just wanted to first say thank you all for putting this together. This is terrific. And uh, I'm going to sing a song that I wrote a number of years ago called Small Steps, which is um, it's based on a movie that I saw called Touching the Void, where some people, it's a documentary where some people getting into it, get into a um, bit of an accident uh, while climbing on a mountain, um, a little rougher than the Pioneer Mountain. And uh, it's about how someone finds his way uh, home by allowing himself to only focus on the small steps in front of him rather than think, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this with a shattered leg? He thinks, if I, I could just get to that next rock in the next 20 minutes, then I'll worry about the, the, the next step. So I think in these troubled times, um, this is just a message of trying to look uh, forward to the next day and we'll get to the next year. So this is called Small Steps. It takes millions of footsteps to get over a mountain. That's what I'm trying to do. Setting my feet one after another just to walk for a minute or two. I got a hand in my pocket, I got a tear in my eye, cause I don't know if I can get over a mountain so tired, I'll sleep by the fire and watch as the moon meets the dawn. I got a load that I carry, and I got a lot on my mind, cause I don't know if I can get over the mountain so high.
just make it as far as I see As long as the ground keeps on carrying me Maybe there'll finally be a way home If I can just set on a site that I'm near As long as the ground will get me there from here Maybe I won't have to fear the way home. Small steps, oh, you small steps over a mountain, and small steps bring you home. Small steps take. Thank you, everybody. On is forever. Thank you so much, Rob. That was awesome. Um, that line, small steps bring you home, I, I can't even, I mean, that's literally right now, right? We all just took a few steps to our computer and we're home sweet home at, at camp, not to get all yep. sappy on you. But anyways, <laughs> um, yes, that was lovely. Uh, next up, so next up we have... Um, Marielle and Margaret, who are going to be doing a fun dance for everyone. Um, it is a, a group activity, so if everyone wants to dance, you're more than welcome to. Uh, they're going to get into it now. Is that working? Hey, Marg. <laughs> hey, Marielle. I was just scrolling through this amazing app on my cell phone. Have you heard of it? It's called I, TikTok. TikTok? Can it's you tell me a little about it? Huh? It's, that? it's, it's just a fun, like, cool new way to dance with all your friends. You know what? I think I have heard about that, about that app. Um, there's this new trend going around on it, something. The, so yeah, like, um, a small boat. A small boat. A small kayak? Mm, I, I, maybe something with a, a canoe. A canoe. The little canoe song TikTok <laughs> dance. TikTok dance version. What? Did you did you see this video? Should we should we I hit the I've been seeing it all day every day? Should we just like get into let's, it? Let's get into it right now, right this very moment. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. I cannot wait. I cannot wait either. <laughs> something like this. Not that? something just a boy and a girl in a little canoe with the moon shining all around. They pushed their paddles so you could hardly hear a sound. And they talked and they talked till the moon went in. And she said, odds are you get out and swim. So what do you do in a little canoe with the moon shining all around? <laughs> and that's that. And we would just love it if everyone who's interested wanted to stand up and dance with us. We'll go through it one time slow and then we'll, we can, we can also, yeah. sorry, what's that Mark? What's that Mark? We also, um, if anyone wants to follow Onus underscore variety show on TikTok, we both <laughs> have embarrassed ourselves by <laughs> live videos of us doing it there. If anyone wants to also learn it there, but we'll break it down with you first and then I'll send the, the username. Awesome. So, you. this is <laughs> belief that everyone's getting up to dance with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. Everyone's just rising and just ready to rumble. Yeah, <laughs> Take yeah. a good stretch. Yeah, don't forget to stretch it out. All right. So, the way it begins, you're going to really take your time to hit the whoa. 
And I know we all know how to hit the wall, but you really gotta just take your time. <laughs> so it's just a boy and a girl. And then you're gonna hit your back of your hands down. Uh, no. <laughs> With the moon shining all, you're gonna cover your cough or sneeze, and then you're gonna dab because you uh, protected the community members around you. So. Cough or sneeze, dab. <laughs> uh, moon shine all around. Push your paddle. Do it three times. And then you're gonna step forward and rock your hips around. Full body rolls up. What you say? Did you hear a sound? Did you hear a sound? <laughs> um, what comes next, Mark? <laughs> they talk. Oh yeah, they're talking. You're They're really talking. This is kind of a freestyle. You can make this on your own. Are they talking from so many places? You could like, yeah, you know, but yeah, really creative. <laughs> uh, so the moon, the moon rises and it sets. So it goes. And she said, "Odds are you get out and swim." And then we go back to the beginning. What do you do in a little canoe? with the moon shining all around. <laughs> everybody. And that's, that. <laughs> yeah, that's the next dance craze. I'm, I'm calling it now. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna type into the chat right now if anyone wants to check out that TikTok or not. <laughs> down. Okay, love to all. Own it forever. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Bye. guys. That was fun. I just downloaded TikTok recently, so I feel like I know what was happening there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is my fan club. Um, yeah, okay, so our next performer is actually me and Marielle's former camper in Tohican, Nina, and she's going to be singing for us. And take it away, Nina. Hi everyone, can you hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Nina. Um, I was a camper from 2011 and then now I'm on staff, current staff member. Um, and I'm a little nervous because a lot of my old counselors are here watching. <laughs> but um, thank you so much. Um, Liz and Catherine for organizing this, and I'm really happy to be here. This is a song um, by an Argentinian singer-songwriter that I really like, and I'm going to send the lyrics through the chat uh, because they're in Spanish, and I think that they're kind of pertinent to, I don't know, they remind me of camp. de río manso fresca y clarita libre como ven donde aborra la de mis manos siempre andarás en mí siempre andarás Aulita de niebla densa tapa el camino y no se puede seguir. Solo queda verse un amigo siempre.
Thank you. Love you all. <laughs> Yay. Love you, Nina. Thank you, Nina. That was so beautiful. I remember Nina used to sing when she was my camper because I can't sing. So I would have Nina sing. Um, oops. Okay. So our next performance is going to be from Safi and Sam, and they're going to be spinning Fire Poi. If I said that right, I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Niger. I'm going to be singing Where Have All the Flowers Gone for you tonight. And I'm Safi Winton, and I'll be spinning Fire Boy. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? Gone to young girls, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the young girls gone? Long time passing. Where have all the young girls gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young girls gone? Gone to young men, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the young men gone? Long time passing. Where have all the young men gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young men gone? Gone to soldiers, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the soldiers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the soldiers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the soldiers gone? Gone to graveyards, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the graveyards gone? Long time passing. Where have all the graveyards gone? Long time ago. Where have all the graveyards gone? Grown to fry flowers, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Good night, Good night Camp Onus. All right. Thank you, Sam and Safi. That was awesome. Um, we loved it. <laughs> um, next up, we have Mara Church. Mara Church, you're up next. Hello. There you go. You're on, Champ. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you all hear me? We good to go? I can hear you. Amazing. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, as I get set up, I wanted to say hello from the West Coast all the way over to the East Coast. 
Um, I'm going to be singing a camp version of American Pie for everyone. Uh, and I miss camp so much. And I'm, I'm so sad to, to know that there will not be campers and counselors there this summer. But i um, grateful to everyone for donating and for giving your money um, and for using uh, your voice in this really important time. Um, so as I get set up uh, with my lyrics, which I'll need to switch halfway through, so, so be, be nice. Um, if you could share a few of your like favorite memories of camp, like the things that make you think of it. Because as I was writing these lyrics, I was realizing that I like forgot the names of a lot of things. Like I forgot what the Gaga pit was called. Uh, and I forgot about the upper uh, field elephant and things like that. So if in the chat, you could just like put the words that remind you of camp, I would love that. And that would bring me a lot of joy uh, as we get going. <laughs> love it. All right. Feel free to sing along uh, once you learn the chorus. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that bug juice used to make me smile. And I know if I had my way to return to camp as a kid today, that boy would I be happy for a while. But COVID times have brought the blues. With every week we watch the news, the numbers they're still climbing. We'll be okay in time, and I can't remember my last time there amid the red dirt with appropriate footwear. But let's all take a deep breath of air, cause in the blue and gold we share. So my, my, all the summer's gone by, dining hall skits bright fire pits neath that dark summer sky with gimp and charcoal and all the tie-dye making friends who you will love till you die and finding ways to simplify did you know that in first session they had fireworks and the staff were fresh and yeah it was a second half camper you know well can rest our savior tired soul and did you clean up when you left Sheep's Hole? And did Led Zeppelin teach you how to dance real slow? Well, if you cried on the Pioneer, then you're probably prepared for life out here. I still miss girls' side callbacks. Let's bring the percolator back. We were awkward campers, but a staff more chill with the long, long days and theme weekend thrills. But what I knew then, I know still the magic of Ottsville. And we were singing, my, my, all the summer's gone by. Dining halls gets new gaga pits neath the dark summer sky. Playing wink and getting a black eye. Singing from the steps of outer night. How the sessions really fly by. Helter skelter in a summer swelter. In a lightning storm, the bell will ring and you'll shelter. Puddle jumping and mud wrestling too. Can you sit still for a meeting for worship? And can I make you a bracelet to prove our friendship? And hear Lee tell me about how compost uses poop. Well, let's make some s'mores and toast them up just right. And stay up talking through the overnight. We'll sing the George Fox song. It'll take all dinner long. It's a wet, hot American summer in PA with four periods, rest hour, free time, and EA. But what else could there be to say about our camp today? And we were singing, my, my, all the summer's gone by. Dining halls gets bright fire pits neath the dark summer sky. With gimp and charcoal and all the tie-dye, making friends who you will love till you die. And finding ways to simplify. I know a place that feels like home, filled with the best people I've ever known. Frankly, I wish I could have stayed. Damn it, Josh Laker, you did. With dark thunderstorms and a big boy's field, and a secret elephant that stays concealed, and some silence neath the walnut grove shade. 
This summer we'll miss dropping the flaps and rolling home next to those dead gnats. Peace and equality unimpeded have never been more needed. Tell me your thorn and tell me your rose from that small pocket of heaven on the other coast. Let's raise a glass and give a toast to the camp we love the most. So my, my, all those summers gone by. Dining halls gets all the best kids need that dark summer sky. No camp this year makes me wanna cry. Singing here's to all the summers gone by. Love you all. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh. You never cease to amaze me, Mara. My goodness, so talented. And so good at writing those types of songs, little parody songs are so brilliant. I love them. Um, that was awesome. Also shout out to that painting in the background, that walkway to uh, the old girl side um, done by Alexa Linton. Um, a beautiful painting, absolutely beautiful painting. I said beautiful again, you know what? You know, you know what? I'm just going to stop. Uh, Matt, Matt uh, Peter, and Josh, you guys are up next. Um, we have a little video for you from them. But um, first, we have someone that wants to introduce the video. Hi. Can you hear me? There you go. Yes, Word. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Matt. I just wanted to quickly um, introduce our, our video that we pre-recorded. Um, we were going to do the fireball thing, um, but I, we just canceled it because someone else did that. So, whoops. Um, I, since Camp Onus is all about um, history, tradition, lineage, I just wanted, before you hear the song that we sang, which is The Gambler, uh, just tell you quickly how that song came to us. And so we, um, oh, Sue's laughing, good. I, I need Sue's positive approval. Um, I, uh, so we were campers in the 90s, What Up 90s, and um, two brothers, Gavin and Josh Teresi, um, were incredible counselors that we all, me, Peter, and Josh looked up to. Um, I had so many amazing counselors, but Gavin was really the guy who was like, I want to be that guy. I want to be that kind of counselor. And he used to sing the song, The Gambler, to us at night uh, when we were going to sleep. And uh, it was one of our favorite songs. And so when we got back on staff, this became sort of our song. And we sang it a lot um, on the boys' side. We sang it to our campers. And I sang it to my daughter about an hour and a half ago uh, as she went to sleep. So uh, this song means a lot to, to me and it means a lot to us and we hope that you enjoy it. And um, this was so special. Thank you all so much for organizing and for your talents. So we love you. <clears throat> One, two. On a warm summer's evening, on a train bound for nowhere, I met up with a gambler, we were both too tired to sleep. So we took turns of staring, out the window out the darkness, the boredom overtook us, and he began to speak. He said, son, I made a life out of reading people's faces, knowing what the cards were by the way they held their eyes. And if you don't mind me saying, I can see you're out of aces For a taste of your whiskey I can give you some advice So I handed him my bottle And he drank down my last swallow Then he bombed a cigarette And asked me for a light And the night got deathly quiet And his face lost all expression Said if you're gonna play the game, boy You gotta learn to play it right You got to know when to hold him Know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Every gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away and knowing what to keep. Cause every hand's a winner. 
And every hand's a loser And the best that you can hope for Is to die in your sleep And when he finished speaking He turned back towards the window Crushed out his cigarette And faded off to sleep And somewhere in the darkness The gambler he broke even In his final words I found An ace that I could keep You got to know when to hold him Know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the deal is done. Can I camp on us? Love bonus. you, camp on us. That was so beautiful. I'm crying. <laughs> we love it. Uh-oh. Catherine had to freeze at least once during this performance. I'm glad it happened at the end. Oh, there she goes. She's back. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sick. So, um, um, oh, yeah. No, my... Huh? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it looks like we ended a little bit early, but we did want to try to get everyone um, on the video to see if we can all say goodbye. I'm trying to see how oh, this yeah. works. If you want to, if you performed and you want to turn your video back on. Yes. And then we can do a nice gallery view. Goodbye. <gasps> Yay. Oh, look at everyone's cute faces. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you everyone for performing and everyone who attended and donated. We're so grateful for everyone. I don't have any talents, but you guys have so many talents. Uh, <laughs> I can juggle a little bit. <laughs> no flex or anything. <laughs> you can juggle a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm so happy. I can't stop smiling. I know. Yeah, I got a few text messages from people throughout this whole thing, like friends and family, and just saying that they literally just could see the joy on my face watching everyone do their thing. Um, and such a beautiful community brought the most amazing people into our lives. Uh, and we couldn't be more thankful for camp and for everyone here. Yeah. So Thanks. thank you so all so much for coming, and we hope you all have an amazing night. And this was recorded. I don't know how to get it to anyone, but if I figure it out, I'm going to post it in the group. <laughs> <laughs> we want to say have a good night from Camp Onus, and we miss you all, and Camp Onus misses you all very much. So, so much. Good night, Camp Onus. Good night, Camp Onus.